Hello, so this is the um, quickest video of all time. Um, how to install Windows 10 on a machine that's got FreeDOS on. Uh, you buy the FreeDOS ones because you get a better spec for a lower price. Now this particular model is a Lenovo V14515 AST and it's got eight gig of RAM, uh, two five six gig SSD and a 15.6 inch 1920 by 1080 screen and it's 300 quid and it comes with free DOS which basically when you turn it on just gives you a command prompt that just stares at you um, but if you've got a Windows 10 license handy and uh, this is basically all you need to do to get Windows 10 on it you get your once you boot it up make sure it works you get your Windows 10 setup USB stick that you make using the tool plug it in and then press Control Alt Delete. And just wait a bit. Um, there's the Lenovo logo, and it just sort of sits there for a while, and you think, hmm, maybe it's not doing anything. But um, as we'll see, um, set it will start. So nothing fancy. Just um, fire it up to make sure it works. Plug in your Windows 10 setup USB stick and um, restart it. Done. And you saved yourself some money. For this particular model, the next one up of this was £320. And that came, um, that had half the SSD and half the RAM. Um, all because it had Windows 10 Home on it, I guess. But so there you can see, there's the um, there's the the setup. So um, I'm just going to click next and click install now, and we'll see what it comes up with. There's obviously a, a thriving community for um, free DOS, but. Put Windows 10 on instead. Uh, yeah, so it wants the um, the product key. Obviously, there's no product key in the BIOS for this one. Um, so we'll need to enter a product key, um, which I'll sort out now, and then um, we'll restart it. So that's license key in, and then we get a um, terms and conditions thing. Yours uh, might be different depending on which key you've entered. And then we'll just do a custom install. And we'll take away uh, all the partitions that are there. So that basically gets rid of the free DOS. So we've got uh, 238 gigabytes of unallocated space on the SSD. So we'll install Windows on that. And it'll go about doing it and we'll come back um, once it's done just to see how much of the hardware it spots. Um, should spot all of it. So um, yeah, we'll rejoin this once it's done it. So it's just restarting um, the first time. I didn't take the um, USB stick out. But it still managed to obviously um, boot from where it's supposed to boot. It hasn't just booted again from the USB drive like they sometimes do. So that's encouraging. So it's still getting ready. Um, so we'll um, just resume in a bit. So it's rebooting again. Hopefully it won't boot from the USB stick. Doesn't look like it is. So we'll see what that does now. Oh, just a moment. So I haven't really done anything except um, start it up just to make sure it generally works. And then um, put the Windows 10 setup USB stick in and reboot it and then I've 
clicked a few things, typed a code in, and there it is. So now it's after um, which region. Um, it's guessed correctly at United Kingdom, so we'll have that one. And then uh, keyboard layout, United Kingdom. I don't want to add a second one. That's the important thing. It's it spotted the um, the Wi-Fi, so I'm going to um, say I don't have the internet, and I'll continue with limited setup. And it wants a name, so I'm just going to do Lenovo. Once password, I'm going to put nothing at all, and then let it do its thing. Uh, I'm going to unplug the USB drive now, get rid of that. Uh, I don't want activity history, I don't want Cortana, uh, I don't need speech recognition, so I'm not going to bother with that. I don't want uh, location, I don't want to find my device, I don't want full diagnostic data, I'll just do basic. Uh, I'm not using ink. Uh, I don't want tailored experiences because you're looking at my diagnostic data. I don't want a unique advertising ID. And there we go. So now it's going to the high bit. We're getting everything ready for you. So we'll see how that goes. And I'll pause the filming now and we'll rejoin it uh, once it's done its thing. And it's just uh, bonged and there's the desktop. So let's just have a look at device manager and see what's going on. Uh, a couple of things that it's missing. So I'm just going to connect to the network. Um, so just bear with me while I join that. So that's the password. Um, put in and then it'll try and do the the rest of it. I don't like touchpads so I've put a mouse on. It's only because touchpads aren't calibrated that's why people don't like them. Again it's asking me to basically get a Microsoft account so I'm just going to skip that again and then we'll just wait and see um, what it does. Let's have a little look at Windows Update. And we'll see what it's doing, update and security. I'll have a churl while it's doing that. I'm going to look at the activation status. Uh, Windows is activated with a digital license, so that's good. And we'll go to um, check for updates and see what it finds. In the meantime, we'll just keep an eye on, on that. So there's three things it hasn't found. Everything else it has. Let's just look at what we've got. This PC has uh, 217 gig of 237 free. So when they say 256, they aren't entirely um, right. Um, let's set the mouse up anyway. But we've still got a lot of space free, which kind of suggests that Windows 10 is using 20 gig, doesn't it? Ten, yeah, 20 gig. Interesting. Doesn't seem like a lot, does it? Well, it is a lot, but it's not, you know, I was expecting it to be more, really. Anyway, it has, still hasn't found that, but it is, um, it is, yeah, there's a couple of hardware things listed on the downloads so i'm guessing it's finding all the parts that um, are in it that don't have the raw drivers that you get on the windows disk oh it's just found something so it's, it's actually updating the drivers as i speak so again all i've done is plug in the usb stick restart it type a license key in answer the usual questions and then let it do an update. 
I haven't gone to the Lenovo website to find drivers. I haven't installed any Lenovo software. It doesn't come with any because it's not the Windows one. Um, you can see it's, I don't know if you can see it, but Device Manager is sort of flickering as it updates itself as things get jiggled about. So it's actually updating itself, um, which is kind of nice. So uh, don't forget that this doesn't have a BIOS um, license key. So Lenovo obviously don't have to manufacture that into this particular model, which kind of explains why you get a lot better spec for your money. Um, also I've noticed that when it comes to updates from Windows 7, every Windows 7 update I've ever done has activated um, with the Windows 7 key. So if you've got a Windows 7 key lying around on your old computer, then um, that might work. Um, it's probably against the license terms, so um, I'm not saying do it. Um, this key was a, a completely legal key that I had, um, and it's on, and it's obviously activated, so that proves it's kind of legal. Um, so it's busy doing the updates, but you can get yourself a much better spec machine by going for the free DOS versions because the manufacturing costs are slightly lower um, and you don't get the the added Windows license charge as well. Like I said at the start of the video, there was the next model up is identical to this essentially, except that it's got um, half the SSD and half the RAM and Windows 10 Home and it's £20 more expensive than this one. So that you can sort of get a sense of of the differences there and why the Windows license is actually a chunk of money, both in terms of how much the license costs and in terms of the additional manufacturing costs that they have to incur to, to get the, the key into the BIOS and things. So, um, yeah, so it's, it's still busy ticking away. Um, let's see what it's doing. It's downloading. A lot of things are pending install. So it's downloading a lot of things and jiggling about. Um, there's a download error on that. I think that's more to do with the fact that other updates are happening rather than it's failed. So I'll just, um, to save this dragging on, I'll, um, I'll pause the filming and then we'll come back and see what happens. So just a very quick um, thing to mention, just to help you. Um, it did seem to hang on... Um, one of the cumulative updates it said it was downloading 100% and just sort of sat there for about five minutes. Um, now it's installing it, so don't worry about that. Um, it's also flickered a bit and the screen resolution has changed because it's put the um, display drivers on and one of the unknown um, other devices has disappeared. Um, that happened quite early on. So we're just waiting for the cumulative update. Um, that's KB4560960 to finish and then presumably it'll just ask for a, a reinstall as and when it needs it and it'll just work its way through the list. So keep an eye on um, how long it's taking uh, but I'll pause it again and then we'll pick it up when it's doing something interesting. So it's been chugging away. Um, it's now 20. 243 and it's um, got all the hardware's been detected and it's jiggled about a bit so there's no unknown devices now in device manager so I'm going to close that. A couple of them have got install errors um, mainly because there's pending updates I suspect so I'm going to restart it. Um, the larger updates uh, stall a little bit but I just left it going. The problem is that you have to jiggle the mouse occasionally but there's a little trick that I'll um, explain in the in the description. So I'm just going to restart it and we'll see how we go on. So this is the first restart after um, the updates sort of stopped and it's still got some more updates to do. So again we'll pause it, although it's rattling through this one, it's 43%. There's no, um, it doesn't take the same amount of time for the percentages, it will jump one minute it'll be 43, then it'll be 44, but it won't, that won't mean that a minute's passed or something like that. So they're, they're not, 
the, she just jumped to 60, 72. So it, it, there's no rhyme nor reason to the timings. It's just when it gets to a certain thing, that's what the percentage is. Um, so we're on 88 now. Uh, maybe we'll see uh, no, 89. I'll pause it. So that's it. Now it's doing um, a boot. Because there's no password entered at the setup, and because it's like a local user account, it doesn't ask for a password at all, and it should boot straight to the desktop. Obviously, it's still configuring itself after the updates, and there are probably more updates to do, um, but we should see the desktop. Oh, well, there it is. So let's go straight to um, the Windows update screen and see what's going on with that. Windows cheats slightly and shows you the desktop before it's actually ready. Um, you instinctively know that, especially if you've been using computers for a while. It was how they um, how they convinced people that Windows XP booted faster than Windows 98. Windows XP shows the desktop before it's actually finished loading, whereas Windows 98 showed it when it had. So there's extra few seconds of uh, sort of premature desktop. Microsoft could say, look, it boots faster or it boots the same, when in fact they were cheating slightly. Um, so it's um, found some updates, mainly antivirus malware stuff for the Windows Defender. Uh, it's installing one of those. Um, so we'll just, um, I'll run the updates a few more times um, and we'll see how. Um, See if it finds anything else. Um, a lot of the errors that you get, so don't be alarmed by the errors that you see. A lot of the errors that you get on the initial update thing, I mentioned a few of them, are due to it um, not being able to install something because something else is pending um, to be installed. So um, don't worry, obviously it hasn't caused any malfunctions and, um, and that's it actually. Windows is up to date and we're, and we're in business. So um, all the little things on the start menu have all downloaded as well. Microsoft News is looking a bit weird, but that's fine. It normally does that. Um, most of these can go anyway, but there's a separate video for that. So yeah, so um, that's the trick. You look for the machines that have got FreeDOS on and you look what spec they are. And they're generally higher spec than the oh, hello. Dolby Audio got installed. I don't want to do either of those things, so I'll cancel that. Uh, so it's finding everything without any intervention. So I haven't been on the Lenovo website. I haven't done anything other than bung the USB stick in, reboot, and let it do its thing. So you can save yourself some money by looking for the free DOS ones and comparing the spec at that particular price point to um, the other machines that have actually got Windows 10 on them. Because remember, the free DOS machine doesn't have uh, a license key in the BIOS, so Lenovo don't have to put one in there. And they don't have to worry about um, having recovery partitions and all that kind of stuff. They just um, basically wipe the drive and shove a, a FAT32 partition on there with 3DOS on it and then just say whatever. Because they know you're going to do something like this. Because if, you know, if you're a business user, you might have a, a volume license key or a... Or a um, a site license key for Windows 10, you're just going to bung that on. So yeah, sneaky trick, get the free DOS, bung Windows 10 on, get a better spec, save yourself some money. Um, it couldn't actually be simpler. Um, bung the USB stick in, let it do it. That's it. Um, any questions about this, stick them in the, um, in the comments below. Um, liking and subscribing is always encouraged. Um, and um, once again, thanks for watching.